Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete pivot tables using Excel VBA. So let's continue the VBA script from the previous video. All right, so here, let's take a look. Let me go back to my pivot table. And it's going to be a pretty uh, easy exercise. All right, so here in my Excel spreadsheet, I'm going to copy this pivot table. Actually, I'm going to let me do this. I'm going to display the pivot table field. And I'm going to remove some of the fields. Next, I'm going to copy this pivot table. I'm going to duplicate this pivot table a couple of times. I think that should be pretty good. Now I'm going to go back to my uh, VBA window. I'm going to create a new uh, subroutine. Inside the VBA window, I'm going to create a private subroutine. I'm going to name uh, this subroutine, delete pervert tables. And I'm going to use this subroutine as a function. For this subroutine, I'm going to have a parameter called washing name. And this parameter takes string data type or string value. Basically, I want to use this subroutine based on the washing name that I provide. I want to delete all the pivot table based on the washing name. Okay, so here let's create another subroutine. And I'll name the subroutine, delete PT test. Inside the delete pivot tables subroutine, I'm going to declare my variables. So I'll declare my washing variable and pivot table variable. So PT is pivot table. And here I'm going to insert my air handler. And I'm going to type on air, go to air handler. And I'm going to insert my air handler right above the end sub statement. Basically, if I encounter any air, then I'm going to exit out uh, the subroutine. All right, so here I'm going to create my washi object. I'm going to type set ws. Is equals to this workbook, the worksheets. And I'm going to supply the worksheet name argument. And I'll construct the worksheet object based on the worksheet name that I provide. Next, I want to iterate each pub table in the worksheet. So I'm going to insert a loop for each pub table in worksheet the pub tables. And I can delete a pivot table by referencing the pivot table object. So I'll type pt dot table range two dot clear. And that's going to be my function. Now if I go back to the delete pt test subroutine, and let me do this. I'm going to make a copy of the report tab. And I'll name this tab as test two. All right, so if I want to delete all the pivot tables in both report tab and test two tab, I'm going to call the delete pivot tables function. And I'll assign the washing name. And it's going to be the report tab. And it's going to be the test two tab. Now, if I go back to my uh, pivot table, and I'll go to the view tab, macros, and I'll run the delete PT test macro in here. Oh, I have a typo. This should be handler. Let me try again. View macros, delete PT test, and run. And I'll delete all the pivot tables in both report tab and test to tab. All right, so this is something to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.